Hi guys, Richard from Forsyth Video here. I have a, a few things to talk about real quick and then we're going to get to the coup de gras, which is uh, this new creation I've put together. Uh, the channel is close to 5,000 subscribers, so if you could be so kind as to hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed, we are literally less than 150 subscribers away from that milestone. It's something that uh, I never expected to happen and I appreciate it so much. So if you do that, that would be killer. Now, I made something just for fun, something I've been thinking about for years. I made a drum out of a car rim. So let me bring that up here with a flawless jump cut. <laughs> flawless. So what you see before you is a snare drum made from a 14 inch car rim. With the lip and everything, it's actually about 15.5. So I had to make it using 16 inch rims. That being said, I couldn't find a good set of 16 inch rims that had a slot cut for snares, so I had to manually do that. That's something I'm gonna be working on. I am still waiting on an oversized snare stand to come in for this thing so I can properly demo it. But I just shared some pictures of it on my Facebook, which only has like 1,200 people or something, and it is the highest shared thing that I've ever had on Facebook. So it's already had over 40 some odd shares at this point. Some other friends of mine shared it in some various drum groups, which might be where some of you have come from. And it's got, you know, in the combined drum groups, over a thousand reactions, which is honestly something incredible. Look, I always film weird projects for my channel. I didn't even film doing this because I just thought it was something that was kind of quirky and dumb and didn't think it would get so crazy. But let's talk about it. Let's talk about what I'm going to do uh, before I demo it. Right now, it's just a... Right now it needs a lot of work, right? Got a lot of ring. So most importantly, when putting this together as a prototype, I hadn't put in snare beds and it needs snare beds to have the snares seat properly. Cause right now they got that, if you've ever had a really cheap snare, they'll sometimes kind of bow a little bit. It's got that going on, but I don't have an angle grinder. So that's something that I'm going to be buying this weekend as soon as I can so that I can create the snare beds and then I'll sand it to where it's a nice smooth finish so it doesn't hurt the drum head. I was lucky with this drum, it's got a pretty good little bearing edge. It's not sharp on the top, it's actually curved on the top of the rim and it's not a super thick curve that inhibits the vibration. It's a it's kind of a sharp curve so I imagine even though it's a big drum, once I get it tuned right and everything it should be nice and uh, nice and bright. Ever since I was a kid, I've loved drums. I used to bang on pots and pans. Uh, I didn't get I got a tom drum, I got a floor tom when I was about 14, I think. I was just given a floor tom. And that's kind of where my love for drums started. And if you guys have followed the channel, you know I like to make wacky creations like the cab, the Jeep Grand Cherry cab, or the uh, tom drum that we made into a guitar cab, things like that, which you can look those up. I've been thinking about it for a long time. And it seems simple to make a drum out of a rim but rim sizes do not match up the drum head size. So these standoffs, these copper standoffs, are just pieces of copper pipe I got from Lowe's. So I was lucky enough to find them in the size I needed, which was about two inches. And then there's washers that I had to drill out to fit the lugs so that the lugs could seat down into the washers. And these rubber washers against the rim are also from Lowe's. So <clears throat> it's pretty crazy that uh, you can get that much stuff from Lowe's to build your rim drum. But I ended up having to use uh, 60 millimeter bolts to actually make it all the way through the standoffs into the lugs. So what I'm gonna do, before we get a full righteous demo of this thing, which I'm actually gonna see if my friend Brian will come help me out because he's a way better drummer than I am. Um, I'm gonna carve in the snare beds we're going to get a, as much as I don't want to hide that cool rim inside there, we're going to get a coated head, because this thing rings, it needs it. See there? So it definitely needs snare beds. But we're going to get a coated head, maybe a moon gel, maybe two. But it's got a throw off. It's a fully functional snare. It would just be better with some tweaking, which it needs. But uh, I'm pretty excited about it, and I hope that you guys watching are, and you come back, because as soon as I can, 
I'm going to put a real demo up with a studio recording sound of this drum. So that way you can hear what it sounds like and you can decide, you know, whether it's a worthy experiment or not that you could do at home. Honestly, it wears out some drill bits pretty quick. You have to drill small holes and then step up and step up and step up. I know I'm rambling. I want to make this a quick video. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. Oh, the valve stem. The valve stem is the drum vent, if you can see that. So the valve stem, you, I had to cut it out. But I have some other ideas that are coming up, and there's some people who've actually talked about donating uh, rims and things to be used as drums. So it could be a pretty fun like project series. I will film the next one I do, so that you guys can see how to do it if you want to make your own. Everyone's like, patent it and try to sell them. I, other people have made rim drums, I'm sure. You know, I don't know what to call this thing, the behemoth. It's 18 pounds, 16 inches across, you tell me. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you're excited as I am. And uh, please subscribe to the channel. We're almost to 5,000. That would be a killer birthday present. And I will see you guys soon. A lot of ring.